Hi, this is an introduction about XFIG. XFIG is an application created in the 1985 that allows users to draw and manipulate objects interactively in an X window. This is what XFIG would look like. You would have a bunch of objects and you could draw stuff. And XFIG was developed using the C programming language. And XFIG has some features that are missing. And by the end of every project, you would be adding these features to make XFIG more advanced. And this helps you better understand about C. And as you would be using a Linux system that would help you understand about how Linux works, you would use an AWS system to launch Linux. And details about that are on the readme file of the GitHub page. Uh, check it out. And uh, the way you would do it is that you would start an instance. I've already done one. And you would get an IP address. You would have to refresh the page. Then you would get a new IP address. Then you would open remote desktop connection. Paste that in. Connect. Then your username, which would be Ubuntu. And that will log you back in. So for the projects and the details about it, we used GitHub as that is a lot better to understand it. And you would have branches and projects for every project that would you would do. Um, for example, project one is enhanced rotation. Two is default depth, free selection is number three, and the list goes on to project 10. And all of these have different assignment information, different directions. And the way you would look at it is you would open your IDE. We prefer Visual Studio Code as that is better to understand. And every, every XFIG project or branch has an assignment information which tells you about the project details and where you would find the directions to understand about xfig and the first link you touch on is the that shows you the current behavior the enhanced behavior what what you you should expect at the end of the project and you just control click and that would open the github issue then you read this. We have a bit advanced of uh, details about the assignment. And to find the directions or the comments, you would copy the hashtag, which for the for this one is a hints of rotation. It would change for every project. You'd click on the search icon on the left side. Then you would paste it. And you would see the files listed. Some of them have the hashtag in the same file twice or even multiple times and that's totally fine this is how the comment would look like and you once you're done editing the code and you feel like this is a good this would work you would click on the compile code which would run the configure code the make code and run xfig so that you can check it out. This takes a minute. Then, yep, once you're done, Xfig would run. This, this would launch. Then you could check on your project. And there are also two ways of actually launching xfig if you don't want to compile the code and that is the xfig from the installation path and the run.sh which is from the source code file both ways should work as long as you use the compile code and yeah so the way you do any project is you would go to the github click on the project then uh, edit it in your ide then run the compile code then yeah that's it 
I hope this is a good introduction to Xfig. Uh, for more details, look at the Xfig website. And yep, that's it. Thank you.